with the primary election behind us, we're now at the point of comparing the experience and records of two candidates. Regarding experience, there's a huge difference. Between holding public office and being a newspaper editor, I spent most of my life in a position of responsibility and leadership in Dearborn. I was trusted by voters to hold public office for 20 years. My opponent, with respect, has held office for four years, eight months, and 18 days. I've proven my ability to lead as chairman of the Wayne County Commission. One of us has actually run a, bad, a branch of government. This is also a time for both of us to be viewed with a critical eye, so let's pull back this curtain. My opponent was making plans last year to run for mayor this year, at the same time that he was asking for our votes and our trust to re-elect him to state representative just last November. That seems deceptive. But even if we can overlook ambition, how do we accept that he knew that it was his plan to abandon the position and leave us without a state representative for most of next year, giving us no voice or vote on important issues in Lansing? I'm also concerned about the impact of big money in Dearborn politics. My opponents spent a quarter of a million dollars on the primary election. I spent 38,000. He raised more than that, 50,000 yearly, from outside of Michigan. He's on target to spend a half million dollars trying to become Dearborn's mayor. That's unheard of, and it's troubling. Is our mayor's office for sale to the highest bidder? But there are things that money can buy. Experience, proven leadership, and integrity. These are the things that I will bring to the mayor's office. So I'm asking your vote on November 2nd.